Hello, and welcome to update 5. So, what has happened in the last update? Well, in the last week, I did not get nearly as far as I had hoped, but I did get some stuff done. So, as you can see here, this is my floating frostbolt. It's not nearly done because I hate my art. So, I tried multiple versions of frostbolt or ice bolt, and uh, I'll even show you a couple here. we play the game let's, let's not maximize on play if we play the game let's see this is the frost bolt and that's another thing I've noticed now that I've got a target I really want to move horizontally I want to strafe it's it's a little rigid to just move in north south east and west and then rotate separately okay so that's that's frost bolt one Frostbolt 2 looked like this. This was actually one of the first Frostbolts. Uh, it has a huge black line through it for some reason. So I changed to Frostbolt 3. Tried to correct that. Uh, Notice that I kind of made it stand out somehow a little bit more. So I went all the way and filled it right in. But now it looks really awkward because it just kind of stops. Now, Frostbolt 5, I went the other way. I tried to make it a little bit more of a bolt. Uh, the back end's distracting, though. And by this point, I was getting a little annoyed with myself. Uh, I tried the next day and decided, what if I just did Ice Bolt? And it came out looking absolutely horrible. I have no idea what happened with that one. So I tried to fill it in and make it... Um, Oh, what's the word? Symmetrical. And so this is what came out, and I thought, it just looks like a giant blob. It doesn't look like anything. So what I did is I went out and I bought a tablet, a drawing tablet, and uh, I'm going to make a whole lot of better particle effects. But in the meantime, I'm not going to be relying on my own artistic skill. I looked up some assets on the asset store and found some amazing packages, and uh, you know, for under $100, I could probably get every asset I would need for the game. So I decided, uh, forget drawing it for now. I'm just going to move on to something else. So the other thing that's happened is I decided I'm going to go back to the warrior and focus on the warrior. Because, uh, again, you can get carried away and try and expand on things when you're developing a game when you should really focus on your core. And, and knowing what your core really is is, is super important. What I did here is I decided we're going to go with just the warrior for now. I'm mean, going to put the, the hunter and the mage in my back pocket. It was great practice for animating. Um, and I'm going to move on to collisions. So I've added a collider to my player. And as you can see, it's on his sword there. Just a regular old box collider. And I've got a function right now, so that's active, that'll just tell me when I've hit something, and what I've hit. So if I walk up and I slap this thing, it'll say I hit the cylinder. So that's, that's good to know. I can hit stuff, I can tell what I hit, and based off of that, I can just add logic to do whatever I want. Now, the next step is uh, this health bar. You see this health bar, it follows the camera. It always stays facing the camera no matter where I go. So you can you can always have a, an easy quick point of reference for the health of your opponent. Uh, you notice that it collides when I just walk into the opponent and so that would cause damage. I'm going to have to control that so that it's going to ignore the collision for everything in the world unless I hit a button then it's going to then it's going to then it's going to matter. Or at least it, it might collide, but it just won't do anything. So, okay, and yeah, so the other, I guess that's pretty much it, was the animations. Uh, I'm moving on to using animations from the animation store. I'm actually going to put some money down on that. Getting the health bars done. Um, I have most of the code for uh, putting the damage on the health bar, so that it'll actually reduce the health bar. But you see this weird 
white border, that's not going to be there either. And uh, it might not be the same style. In the, end. in the end, it won't be the style. This is just the most basic health bar to get going. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so my next steps. My next steps are uh, finishing out the abilities. We're going to be able to take damage from one another, and then once the uh, health reaches zero, it's going to trigger a death animation. <coughs> On top of that, um, I do need to get to the multiplayer. I'm not exactly sure if I should do that right away next, um, or if I should get a game finished where I can just put a character model on one side and then my player on the other you can use the player perfectly and do all the abilities to the, the essentially the, the target dummy um, yeah I think that's probably where I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get the strafing fixed I'm gonna get the movement tuned out a little bit I'm gonna have it basically so that the, the player that you play is fully done or at least as much as done as I can get it, and then I'll start adding in the multiplayer code. Because when you're adding the multiplayer code, um, you're changing the structure of pretty much how you design the whole thing. So you're, like you have a server and you have a client, and so you have to say uh, instead of putting a, a prefab in here and then just labeling it, labeling it as a player and uh, working with that player, you have to instantiate an instance of the prefab and it, and the server has to know whether it's a server instantiation or it's a client instantiation and then you also have to start uh, changing your architecture because you now have to not just think about good clean quality code that you can read you have to think about separating concerns now what does the server have to think about and be knowledgeable of and what can you pass on to have the client manage to take load off your server so it's uh, it's pretty complicated. So that's why I'm trying to leave it probably as light as I can. So yeah, that is update number five, and uh, hopefully I'm going to get a little bit more done a little quicker than this. And um, I have no excuses. I've just been playing way too much World of Warcraft lately. I know everybody hates the new Battle for Azeroth, but uh, I seem to have an opposite opinion to the general population, as is the norm for me, and I really enjoy it. So. Uh, if I can tear myself away from the game long enough to make my own game, uh, that would be fantastic. So yeah, that's the update. Okay.